All right, this video is for those uh, Tesla fans that are having issues with stability control, uh, traction control, and vehicle hold, and possibly an ABS light that goes along with it. So uh, this is uh, for somebody that left a comment that was having issues with those things, and they're, um, they're saying nothing works. Uh, so I'm going to show you what you can do to uh, reset the software. Uh, sometimes if you hit a bump or uh, if something happens, it will trigger certain alerts that will disable you regen braking, uh, traction control, and then it'll just feel like your car is no longer like recharging when you're driving. So it'll kind of feel like it's in limp mode. Similar to like when you get it charged to 100%, it doesn't, regen don't work because uh, the battery is charged fully. So here's what you can do. I'm gonna tell you two things that can cause that, okay? The first thing that can cause that is if you have an ABS light, an ABS uh, sensor wire that gets triggered. Sometimes the tire can wear it out. Sometimes the tire can rub against it if it's bumpy. Um, or if, or sometimes if you're just driving, it can just get set if you just bumpy roads. Um, that's the first thing is the ABS sensor. Um, the second thing is your alignment. So I'm gonna tell you what you can do. If your sensors are fine and your alignment is fine, as far as you know, you can try resetting it. So this will work on most Teslas. On the bottom left, you wanna click and hold on that car uh, button. And then eventually in the center, uh, you wanna click on software and then uh, where it has your vehicle, you want to click on this and hold it for about three to five seconds. And then type in the word service. And then enter or okay. Um, enter. So I've got a 2024, it's kind of different. It all lights up red. You might have a 2020 or 2022, but you should get a red screen like this. It's called uh, service mode or you can call it a red red screen. If you're freaking out at this point and you're scared, you can just click on that exit service mode, hold that, and you can get back to where you were. Uh, so if you wanna continue with this, uh, here's what you can do. And this isn't gonna hurt you. Make sure your car is parked um, in, a, in a flat area. So we're gonna check two things. We're gonna uh, check the ABA sensors to see if they're good, and then we're gonna do the alignment. So it, you can watch my other video on how to do the alignment, but this is just for th for the people that have tried it and they don't know what else to do. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to go towards where it says chassis. Click on the chassis button and then this will come up. You're going to have alignment tires, TPMS steering, CSS, CCS, you know. So just click on the brakes where it says brakes. Click on that. It's all green if it's all good. If any of this is not green, like if this wasn't green, that would tell me my ABS on the rear right is out. If this isn't green, that means your ABS on the left rear, same thing here. If that's not green, front left, if that's not green, your front right ABS wire has been triggered. And if, if that's the case, then you know that there's something wrong with the ABS sensor, either you need to replace it or check the wire to see if it's worn out. One of these will not be green, okay? So that's, if that's, if one of these is not green, that then tells you that your ABS wiring sensor has been triggered. 90% of the time, it's gonna be a wire that rubbed against the tire that basically wore out and is gonna trigger the malfunction of regen braking, stability control, um, and yeah, a few other ones that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So here you can actually do some testing. You can do brake stiffness. You don't need to do that. Brake bleeding, you don't need to do that. Um, so we're not gonna do any of that. We just first wanna know if there's anything here. If there is anything, just then you can at that point exit, click on that and hold it. 
and then basically you can go get that wire fixed and then come back okay um, the other thing you can do is you can go to your steering um, your steering is going to be likewise click on this little guy go back up here where it says alignment and tires click on that you're going to see this green arrow so when you take the steering wheel and you churn it that thing will churn with it if your tires are aligned you want to make sure this is on zero so take your steering wheel put it within zero range if you can get it to exactly zero bravo but as long as it's on, on in the green zone you're good then what you can do is click on clear applied offset click that and then click run and then it's going to say to press your brake and do turn signal to the right for like eight seconds i think so while doing that it's going to say yes clear apply offset now it's doing that and it's going to say successful reset of all that you can click rerun if you want if it's not green if it's green you can close it okay so we're going to turn off the signal okay so we did that there's one more thing that you can do to help um reset the um regen braking okay i want to see if i can find that because <laughs> it's been it's been a few it's been a few weeks um and so what you could do is you could essentially um reset the regen system i'm gonna see if i can find it i can remember where it was some of you guys already know where it is so um you can also do post crash but we're not gonna do that uh you don't need to do that uh, let's see here give me one moment while i look for it it's not that was it it's the last thing that you need to do to clear it um, it's not TPMS those are your tires it's not HVAC it's not your coolant You're basically running through everything here um, Keys, not the keys. Is that the drive unit? No. I'm gonna find it here. And then I'll be like, here it is. Um, that's the battery pack. High voltage, same thing there. ECU status, that's not it. Software, no, we don't want to reinstall software. Oh my goodness, where did it go? Ah, oh, here it is. Um, it's the steering wheel, okay? Um, so, get to the part where it says steering wheel. And then, all of these should be green. Now, mine is red, because currently my camera on the right is disconnected. Yours should be green. In fact, all of these should be green. If one of them is not green, uh, your driver's assistance uh, is not gonna work. Regen braking will still work and all that. But down here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna reset driving assistance, okay? So you're gonna click, and this isn't gonna hurt anything. Um, reset DAS, and then it's gonna ask to run it. And it's going to say USD reset succeeded. So if it's been green, you can close it. If it's not green, you can rerun it. So I'm going to close it. Okay. So they're all red. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're going to turn green here in a sec. Okay. But generally speaking, um, all of these should be green. Now, we can click camera preview just to make sure everything works. And there's me sitting in my car without my shirt. Um, so 
So if we go back out here, it's about to turn. Should turn green here. And once my door closed. Well, if we go back out and come back in, it'll be green. Um, so let's go back to our cameras. And basically it's all green. Well, this one should be red. Not sure why it's not. Um, but, but yeah, so by resetting that, it'll actually reset um, the feedback loop to basically all those uh, you know lights that came on uh, as far as stability control and all that kind of stuff so that's that's basically the three things you can do uh, to reset um, the, the um, calibration on the uh, stability control you want to start with the ABS sensor uh, or steering or steering then ABS and then lastly you can you know make sure all these cameras are working and then just reset it they should all be green, although mine should be red, which is kind of weird. I don't know why it's not picking up on it. It's disconnected. It's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so that's what you do. And then um, you can go back to the car, um, and then eventually you can exit service mode. All right, so try that, and if that helps, um, then leave a comment. Um, those are basically, again, a quick rundown, three reasons why, uh, Tesla's get alerts that cause all kinds of problems. It's specific systems that make the car think that there's something wrong. So it's either your steering alignment or your ABS sensor. Uh, or for driving mode, it's going to be, uh, or self full uh, self-driving FSD is going to be one of your cameras, okay? So you can try resetting any of those, but if there's a hardware issue, like a ripped wire or a camera that's disconnected or an alignment issue, like an actual alignment issue, then it's going to it's gonna trigger it eventually. So if you notice, for example, you're driving down the road and it's bumpy or you hit a big speed bump and everything goes crazy, uh... It's, that's what's causing it. You could try resetting it with this procedure. And uh, if it helps, leave a comment. Subscribe, like. It'll help other people find this video. Thank you. Bye.